How's it going guys? This is Don from Prana Tech. I wanted to uh, bring this video to you today to show you how I built a cement mixer from this old treadmill. And it was a pretty cool project. I'm excited to bring it to you, show you how I did it. Because uh, one of the things I'd like to show people is how to turn old useless items into useful uh, items for the future. So stay with me and uh, we'll go through how I built this and I'll describe all the processes. All right? Okay, here you can see the treadmill that I got at the uh, beginning of the project. This is what I used to turn into the cement mixer. Uh, I started out with a Proform 650E XP. I received this treadmill for free. Um, that was one of the reasons I went with it. The price was uh, excellent. So many people have asked me, why did you choose a treadmill to build this project? And the main reason is because of the components that a treadmill comes with. Treadmills are powered by a DC variable speed motor. And one of the benefits of that is you get full torque at low speed. This is perfect for building a slow speed cement mixer. So that is one of the reasons I wanted to use a treadmill. The other is that it comes with heavy-duty steel and heavy-duty rollers for the belt. And so those are two of the components that I needed to build the frame and the rollers for the drum on the cement mixer. So that is why I chose to go with a uh, treadmill for this project. And now I need to strip this treadmill down to the bare components so I can see what I've got and what hardware and components that I can use and what I don't need. Here you can see that I've taken off the main covers uh, for the motor compartment and here you can see the DC motor. Uh, this is kind of the heart of the treadmill and it's the main thing that I wanted out of this uh, old treadmill. You can also see the main drive roller, you can see the elevation or incline motor and there's the uh, electric controller. The for the DC motor for variable speed. All of these things uh, I'm going to use in the project. Here you can see I've uh, sped through, done all the work and torn this thing down to the basic components, the main rollers you can see, the metal framing, and uh, all the components that were the skeleton of this old treadmill. So here you can see I'm starting to cut the top off of the plastic drum that I chose to use for the mixing drum on the cement mixer. I chose plastic because, well, uh, it seems like cement doesn't stick as much to uh, the plastic drums as it does the metal. The uh, metal ones can be hard to clean. So I decided to go with this, plus I found it on Craigslist for 15 bucks, so that was another deciding factor price. Uh, I wanted to keep this project, you know, as reasonable as cost-wise as I possibly could, and uh, so I decided to uh, go with plastic. Here I am cutting the top off of the plastic drum. Once I got the top removed, I knew I needed to put some structure and some curvature in the top so that it would have um, some stability. So I cut the sections uh, around the top to fold them in like a flower uh, so that I could weld it back together. This I put some brackets you can see and used a piece of cord to hold it together. This allowed me to be able to hold it in place while I marked each petal of the flower on the top edge of this that I could cut it afterwards and weld it back together for structure. Here you can see I'm plastic welding uh, the pieces once I have them cut and held together uh, with the same cord. Uh, I went around and basically plastic welded all of the joints so that I would have a rounded end. And here I am filling in the holes for where I had the little brackets screwed on to the end of the uh, pieces to hold the cord. Okay, now we're back in my shop and uh, now I have to cut and splice and measure and prep all the pieces for welding for making the frame of the cement mixer. I went through and had to take off all the powder coating on all the joints where I was going to weld. Alright, so sit back and watch as I Frankenstein this old treadmill into a new cement mixer. Enjoy the show.
Okay, so here you can see I'm laying out the rear drive plate for the drum. I needed to gear this uh, cement mixer down and finding a two foot wide sprocket was not an easy thing to find and so I decided just to make one out of chain and that's what I'm laying out right here is for the back end. Uh, I had to split the chain and then make a support plate and weld it all in place.
So I painted this with Rust-Oleum Red and the paint didn't seem to be very durable. So I decided to give it an overcoating of some 2K uh, automotive clear coat. Uh, this made the paint a lot more durable and a lot more resistant to scratching and uh, I think it looks a lot nicer. I also made a stencil with uh, a logo on the side because I named this project the Tread Mixer 3000 because it was made from a treadmill and it's a cement mixer. And it's such a cool project that uh, I thought it needed a unique name. So there it is, the Tread Mixer 3000. Okay, so now that I have the paint all done, I let it dry and I started the final assembly. And here it is, all completed. As you can see, uh, I mounted a dump handle on the side. I made it removable so that uh, I can take it off because down at the bottom here, you can see I made that black mount for the handle. It also doubles as a handle for moving it around the yard. So here you can see the treadmill motor uh, for the drive. And also you can see the paddles that I made for mixing the concrete inside the drum. I put two in the back connected to the drive plate and two on the sides to help tumble the cement and keep it churning. Alright, so uh, that's the tour and uh, let's light this thing up and take it for a spin. Alright guys, that's it for the Treadmixer 3000 build. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had a lot of fun building this project. I've got a whole bunch more in the works. So if you enjoy this type of video where we take old products like an old treadmill, turn it into a new useful item like a cement mixer, then stay tuned. If you subscribe and you hit the bell, you'll get notified when I put out a new video. And if you hit the like button, I would appreciate it. If you have any comments on this, I would love to hear them. So feel free to go ahead and uh, let me know what you think. So thanks for stopping by and uh, I'll see you on the next build. Thanks.